Hello everyone, welcome to Falcon Informatic. In this video, I am going to show how to extract image from PDF file using Python. For that, we are using three libraries. The first one is Fits. We will also call this as PyMu PDF, and the second one is IO, and the third one is Pill. I will show how to install this module. For that, first go to command prompt and use this command to install that library. And it's saying like a requirement already satisfied, which means I already installed that. That's why. And coming back to the program here. So in the first line here, I'm using one function called open from fits library. The reason I'm using this function is to open the PDF file from my system. So this is the PDF file. I'm going to extract images. So the name of the PDF file is image.pdf. So you have to mention the name of the PDF file here in order to access that uh, PDF file from my system. And here, since we want to extract image from all pages, we need to iterate over all pages available and get all the image objects on each page. That's why we are creating this for loop here. And after creating for loop here, page is equal to PDF file. And inside that I'm using page index. The reason why I'm using a page index is with the help of page index only we can easily recognize the page number for example if page index is 0 means it indicates page 1 likewise page index is uh, 1 means it indicates uh, page 2 so likewise uh, it goes on and the next we are using get image list function to list all the image object as a list of tuple in the particular page so for that only we are using this function and after using this here i'm using one if condition the reason why i'm using this if condition is so if any images is present in a particular page means it the image list will become one so what will happen is if image list is become one means this part of the loop will execute so what is the exact meaning is so if there is any images in a particular page means what it will print is it will print how many images are present in a particular page so for that only we are using this if here in else part if there is no image uh, in the particular page means what will happen this part will be executed what will happen is if there is no image means it will print no image found on a particular page so th this is the reason why i used uh, if here and next to get the image object index we simply get the first element of the tuple so that's why i mentioned zero here if the image object is uh, present in second element of the tuple means we will mention one here so that's the reason i mentioned uh, zero here it is present in first element and next line after that we use a uh, extract image function that returns the image in a byte along with the additional information such as a image extension to get a image in a byte format we will use this uh, line called base image inside that you have to specify image and if you want extension of the image means we have to use this line base image and inside that you have to specify like ext inside the double quotes so that's the meaning for this two line finally we we will convert the image byte to a pill image instance and save it to local disk using this save function so this is nothing but here here i am loading a image as a byte and here i am converting that byte into image and storing that image to my local disk so that's the meaning for this line and now i'm going to run this program you can see in page 0 there is no image so it's saying like that we will check it and in page 1 we have uh, three images and page 2 also we have three images so likewise in page 3 and page 4 we don't have any images let's verify it so this is page 1 we have we have no images and this is page 2 we have three images likewise in page 3 we have one two three images and it's telling everything correct and we will check the local disk it will store the images there so you can see so these are the images present in that pdf file so you can see yeah, that's all 
if you have any doubts or any queries means please let me know in comment section i will clear that and thanks for watching keep supporting us thank you